to himself. White liberals present themselves as less competent in interactions with African Americans. Why do these liberals believe it's the soft bigotry of low expectations? It's the white savior. Most most progressives are white, upper you know middle to upper class, and they must just believe that minorities are dumb and inferior. This is what organizing looks like. This is what building power looks like. This is what changing the country looks like. Ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with working retail, folding clothes for other people to buy. There is nothing wrong with preparing the food that your neighbors will eat. There is nothing wrong with driving the buses that take your family to work. This mofo butter laying into the bone, jack me up. Tight me. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Cuddy say can't hang. Oh, stewardess. I speak jive. Oh, good. Just hang loose, blood. She gonna catch up on the rebound on the med side. What it is, big mama? My mama didn't raise no dummies. I duck her rap. Cut me some slack, Jack. It's it's a a crazy. Crazy. When I hit the ground and everything, he said, what do you think about Trump now, you white mother? And then started kicking me. I heard them call us incest kids. They call us... No. No. <laughs> when they go low, we kick them. A central Texas man has been arrested for attacking a teenager wearing a red Make America Great Again hat. An 81-year-old man wearing a Make America Great Again hat was jumped in a grocery store and beaten. Video catches a man walk up behind Trump supporter R.C. Maxwell, then take a swing at him. I have a different political opinion. That's no reason to treat me less human. Targeting our own Tucker Carlson. An angry group of criminal Antifa protesters showed up outside his home last night. Where you sleep at night. The biggest terror threat in this country is white men. You fought a Trump! You fought a Trump! Oh, yeah! Yeah, he fought a Trump! God bless. F is a 74 year old Trump supporter who lives in Palo Alto. He casually went about his business today, still sporting the red MAGA hat that prompted a loud confrontation with a woman at a Palo Alto Starbucks two days ago. This crazy woman came over, started raving at me. She turned to the rest of Starbucks. Hey, everybody, here's this racist here. He hates brown people. He's crazy. He's a, a Nazi and so forth. The woman, Rebecca Parker Mankey, then began taking photos and posting about it on her Facebook, saying she was going to shame him, get him fired, kicked out of clubs, and march up and down his street. She didn't want to discuss the issues with me. She wanted just to scream about Nazis and so on. Victor wears a yarmulke underneath his MAGA hat. I shake hands, I hug people, I, I grab men and women by the shoulders and say, you can do this. And, and the president is always looking for a detour down into the dirt. And today, he was taunting the vice president on Twitter with a message, welcome back, Joe, and a doctored video pinned to his feed that has special effects to make the former VP look like a predator. But what about how Biden responded?